Okay. Uh, Ty, how's domain, the domain selling business? I'm not a domain sales guy. How important is it to hit trends when starting a business? Um, the trend is selling online in terms of, you know, you can make money on hats. Every That's not a new trend. People have been wearing hats for hundreds of years. So I think that it depends how much money you're trying to make. If you're trying to make a hundred million dollars, a billion dollars, you need to catch a trend. For a lot of you, here's my recommendation. Let me show you guys something that's important. The most important thing for making money See, that's what it looks like on this, on your Instagram. It's no. cropped in. Yeah, I don't really know what that means, but. No, you see, it's cutting off your title and. I know, because it was built wrong. I mean, it was made wrong. Do you want to take it down or? No, but they should not send me anything like that. I, I just want to upload them. I don't want to have to mess with right. them. Right, yeah. It, they, I know what they did. They took an old one and I didn't press the thing and maybe yeah, it should not be like that. It's part of the process. It just, right. I just take it, I press save and upload. I don't want to mess with that. Okay. So here's you guys. Some of you, most people in the world are down here. They're making zero dollars, or the we could say their net worth is zero dollars or even less. Some people are in debt. Let's actually add that. So, debt. There's three point, uh, there's 1.2 bill trillion in just college debt alone, not even counting credit card debt. So that's below zero. And then you have people, the average person in America makes 52,000 or less. So we're gonna put 52, and I call this scarcity. You don't have, you have enough that you're not starving to death, but money's always tight, you know? And then you have the next level, people making a hundred grand. Actually, we'll put 72 grand. And this is basically what they call stability. Because if you can make 72 grand, you basically reach this stability point. Daniel Kahneman won a Nobel Prize talking about this. He's a professor of economics at, at Princeton. And then above here, Okay, and I remember all these stages. I remember being below zero. I remember being below 52, below 72. I remember going this. And then you get to a level which I call financial independence. And this is an important place to get to. So that's, let's say, between 72 and $120,000 a year. Okay, because I remember getting to this stage, you go, you're stable and independence, you all, all of a sudden you have enough money to do stuff. I remember the first time I got to this stage, independence, I actually was able to um, uh, take a vacation. I went to Puerto Rico, I saved money, I was able to take a girl I was dating and her friend and I was able to fly in my dad. The only trip I ever did with my dad in my life was that one right there. So when you get, and I had an, I was making about eight, ten thousand dollars a month. And I remember being like, oh man, I could, I can go to Puerto Rico and spend three or four grand on the trip and still have more money coming in next month. So you got positive cash flow, right? So then the next stage is when you start getting, you know, what I consider like abundance levels and that's between 120 and 450 thousand dollars a year. If you go on the IRS website of the U.S., they publish this publicly. That if you make about 450 thousand dollars a year, you are in the top one percent. I'm sorry, the top 99.999999 percent. So you're in the point zero 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 one of the whole world. Very few people in this world make over 450 thousand dollars a year. So if you're at that level, you're in massive abundance. You know, if you make four hundred fifty thousand, you can, you can buy whatever car you want. Your bank will give you a loan for just about any house you could reasonably want. You can buy a multi-million dollar house. You can do all that, right? You'll get credit. Credit cards will be sending you letters all the time. You won't quite get an Amex Black card at this point, but you know you'll be doing well. And then up here above. 
between, you know, when you start, let's say, hitting 450 to a million dollars a year, I call this, you know, you start becoming wealthy. And then up here, we'll just call this the crazy level. And that's when you're making $1 million to, let's say, $1 billion, right? So a lot of you, where are you? Just type a comment. Where are you today in this? Are you below zero, debt? Are you in scarcity mode, stability, independence, abundance, wealth, or crazy? Which is, somebody said, Steven says scarcity. Somebody said dead. You can't be dead in typing, but I know what you mean. Zach said 120K. So if you're at 120K, I would say you're hitting, you're between independence and abundance. You're at a good spot. Independence, scarcity. Andre said lowest. That would be debt. Basically, you're negative. Stability, 46 grand. Someone said below debt, fam. Somebody said scarcity with debt. Yeah, well, this is technically like, this is a net worth thing and this is an income thing. So that's fine, I know what you mean, scarcity. Somebody said they're at 200 grand, Travis says. So 200 grand, you're at the abundance stage. You're, you're making decent money. Somebody said they're in college. You know, this guy that I was showing you, his daughter, he set her up with an online business. She's making 5,000 a month and she's paying for her college as she goes. Instead of coming out of college with debt, she literally is selling on Amazon and making $5,000 a month. And that pays for school. Five grand a month, that'll pay for most schools. That's 60 grand a year. Most schools you'll be paid for. So instead of his daughter having to come out with 300,000 of debt and interest and all this, or whatever, 200,000, 100,000, 80,000. She's selling on Amazon and basically will graduate and everything's paid off, okay? So, what can you sell on Amazon? Brack, uh, Bill asks, Bill Brack Loose. Bill, my answer is focus on things you use every day that are in your house now. So how do, here's my advice. You gotta try to get here very fast. So if you're here, you gotta jump, try to jump up. Once you're here, just try to move up one stage at a time. You don't even have to go to crazy mode. Most people are never gonna get to crazy mode. You don't even have to go to wealthy mode. You don't even have to go to abundance mode. The sweet spot is these two, mo these two right here. You need at least, you wanna be hovering between Daniel Kahneman said you should target at least seventy to at least six thousand dollars a month. That's where you need to be. Now I want to tell you, I've been through all these stages, literally every one of these. There was a time in my life when I was sleeping on a couch in a mobile home, no car, no college degree, no job, nothing I could put on a resume, no suit to wear to a job uh, uh, interview, no prospects. Okay, nothing. And I've been in this mode. You know, I talk about when I look at my bank account, it's $47 in there. I remember hitting this mode. This is when I learned online marketing and online advertising, Google AdWords. I quickly jumped up to over $72,000 uh, a year. I hit about 100,000, okay? And then I remember hitting 120, this independence level. I remember, so I remember going and making 100 grand a month. This is per year, by the way. I remember I would. That was I started making a hundred grand a month. I don't know, a long time ago, probably over, let's say, a decade ago, something like that. My businesses were doing over that, and then I remember hitting a hundred grand a week. And this put you up here, and then I remember hitting a hundred grand a day. Now I'm up here, make more. My businesses do usually a lot more than a hundred grand a day. That would put me in the crazy mode. So I could tell you, I have been through these. And so wherever you are, I didn't have parents that I was born to. Some people have parents that automatically put them in the crazy mode. You're just born in the crazy wealth mode. And um, I, don't know how, I don't know how to control for that. If you could pick your parents, we could all do that. But I haven't figured out how to pick up my parents. And it's too late for all of us anyway, you know?
All right. <laughs> I posted a funny video on Instagram. Somebody just texted me. Okay, so. Where, is anybody in crazy mode? Who's in crazy mode? Anybody? Me? Okay, how much you making? Not yet, not yet. Somebody said they're going for crazy. <laughs> Somebody said they wish. Definitely not me, someone said. Z said he's making. Let's just post, what's everybody making? Just do two things. Post how much you're making, your age, and if you want to, your country or city. What's your age, income right now, and city? You don't have to do it if you don't feel like sharing, but if you're open to sharing, let's get a quick guide here. 46 grand, age 25 in Turlock, California. 65 grand, 22 in New York City. 120 grand in and age 42 in Canada. 1500 a month at 14 years old. Okay, that's pretty good. Let me show you this while we talk about it. 95,000 at age 34 in Arizona. 120,000, 30 years old, Zach Wright in Greenville, South Carolina. Two to 4,000 a month, Frida says she's 19 in Long Beach. That's not bad. Six grand a year at 18, so 500 a month. Try to say it, you can say it annual if you want to. 3,000 a month in Miami at age 24. So we got people, we got it all over. Jeffrey Gregg is at 1,500 a month in at age 34 in Miami. So Jeff, I've been there. You are operating down here, you know? 1,500 a month is only 18,000 a year. That's gonna be a tough life and you're probably feeling that. And uh, Steven Nobles, 30 years old, making 100 grand in South Bend. Indiana, so you're hovering. You're not quite at abundance, but you're in independence mode. So how are we gonna get above this? That's what I wanna ask you. How's each person here going to go up a notch? Okay, you don't have to become the richest person in the world, but it's, it's an ideal situation to be moving up. Okay, what do we do? I'm gonna tell you the formula right here. The formula for wealth is in one word or one phrase I'll say catching trends okay that's how you move up 